is a quick top to bottom mobility assessment just to make sure you don't have any stiffness or pain in any joints or specific areas of the body. As you go, please make sure to write down any areas that are really bothering you or skip any kind of exercise you know that's going to be a major issue. Uh, the goal with this is for you to actually film yourself doing this. So if you need to go through it once on your own and then go through it again filming yourself, that's fine. Um, if you have to watch the video of me showing you how to do it, pause it, and then you physically do it, that will work as well. Just be sure to click your pause button on your camera each time rather than the stop button. That way it's one continuous video. So start with the neck, head up and down first. Just a few passes, maybe two or three. And then look left and right. Ear shoulder to shoulder, and we're trying to take everything through its full range of motion. Go as far as you can. Shoulders up and down. And forward and back. Take one arm, reach as far up and back as you can. And same on the other side. Palm down, arm up, and as far back as you can. Same thing the other direction going down, back as far as you can, and other side. Okay, Arms together at the center and reaching back as far as you can and together. Make sure you turn to the side, back, and together. From there, bring the hands up, bend at the elbows, drop the hands down, and pick them up, pull back. Same thing on the side, hands down, and pull them back. One arm at a time, bend at the elbow, bring the elbow in front of the shoulder, drop the hand down, and pull it back. And same thing on the other side, bend at the elbow, bring it in front of the shoulder, drop the hand down, and pull it back. Last one, hands at the side, reach up, and pull down, reach forward, and pull back, up and down, and forward and back. Okay, this one you'll want to be front and side also, so working on the spine. Tip the head and just round the spine, easy, reaching as far as you can without any pain if possible, and then head back and little arch back. Same thing from the front, bend at the spine, reach forward, and extend at the spine, reach back. Okay, this time try to keep your back flat, press the hips back and forward, hips back, pressing at the front of the hips, forward, okay, and then from the front, hands next to the sides, reaching to the sides of the knees, so we're going to tip to one side, reach as low as you can, tip to the other side, reach as low as you can, turn to one side and do the same thing, side and side, and then face the other way, side and side. Okay. If you need to, hold on to something, lift the legs as high as you can, a few kicks on both sides, and then turn to the side, do the same thing, hold on to something if you need it, kicking to the front. Same thing to the side, hold on to something, kick the leg to the side as far as you can, and facing to the side, same thing, at least two on both legs. And you can switch and face the other direction as well two on both legs. Okay, last thing, <clears throat> holding on to the pole and kicking back. Last thing for the hips. Okay, and then from the, from the back, kicking backwards. Two on each side. Okay. If you have a seat available, sit down on the seat and kick your knees out. Do at least two on both legs. And then stand up and curl your heel as close to your butt as you can. Two on each side. Okay. And then hands, open and close the hands. Make sure you show me how much of a range you have in your fingers. Move the wrists up and down and in a circle, both directions. And the toes as well. Spread the toes and clench them together as much as you can. And then make circles with the feet. And last bit. You can put your foot up onto your seat and keep your foot completely flat. Move your knee forward, keep your heel down, and pull it back a few times. And make sure you're doing both feet 
on the foot assessment as well. So remember, you're videoing all of this, trying to go through as easily as you can. If you forget anything, it's not a huge deal. Just trying to see where you're starting from. And if at any point you start to have any issues with pain or stiffness, you can either mention it in the video or it's even better if you can type it out or write it out on your assessment form.